After a journey of 19 days, the first direct train from London is about to reach its final destination, Iwu, China. Iwu is the world's largest small commodity wholesale market. In 2016, it traded goods worth 32.4 billion US dollars. Nearly half that trade was from countries along the Belt and Road. This is the International Trade Mart, the heart of Iwu. Businessmen from all over the world can find what they're looking for here. From jewellery to everyday household goods. There are so many shops here. If you spent three minutes in each one, it would take you a year to visit the whole market. But businessmen usually go to the same shops to do business with familiar partners. Those who are strolling in the mart are newcomers. Jordanian businessman Mohanad is guiding a customer who wants to buy stationery. He's lived in Iwu for 15 years and his work focuses on business between Iwu and Jordan. Their aim today is to carefully compare the different styles on offer and find the most suitable. Usually, customers don't order on the day they visit, but Mohanad is very confident this customer will become a frequent visitor. Malaysian businessman Chok Chit Hok has been living in Iwu for 14 years. He runs a jewellery business in the International Trade Mart. All raw gemstones in his shop are imported by sea. He's hoping that a new international railway, like the one linking China and Europe, will open between China and Malaysia one day. Uh Iwu has opened eight railway routes to Eurasia, the largest number of international lines for any Chinese city. These international trains not only carry Chinese goods to Central Asia and Europe, they also mean more goods from Belt and Road countries are exported to China. This is the imported commodities mall. Mundiva is a shop specialising in imported goods from Spain. Wine and olive oil are their main product. In the past, these goods travelled by sea, 
which took more than a month. Now, with the Madrid to Iwu railway, travel time has dropped to 18 days. Because of the shorter journey time and more stable environment, there's no danger that the wine will be damaged en route. The slow speed of sea transport and fluctuations in price mean this German store opted for the train from London to transport its household goods to China. With less than 20 days travel time and a price equivalent to sea transport, Chen decided to choose the China to Europe train. In the end, two containers travelled from London to China. April 29th, 2017, 09.30 Beijing time. The first London to China train completes its maiden journey. 41 containers of goods made in Europe reach Yiwu, China. In five to seven days, these goods will be on sale in shops and on e-commerce platforms across China. Now, Chinese people don't need to use foreign online platforms. They can buy goods from Europe, close to home.